Back at the friendly confines of Nashville Christian Gym, Mike McPherson along with Coach Michael Peters bringing you live stream action of the second game of the doubleheader with DCA. Our guests coming from Donaldson, Tennessee, across to Bellevue, Tennessee. Two great tourist cities in the United States. Donaldson, home of Uncle Bud's. That's right. We got some good eating over there. And of course, the Bellevue Mall here in growing and gracious Bellevue. So, Coach, let's talk about this game in relation to the tournament. We, uh, right now, this game really is just a, a warm up practice game. If we, whether we win or lose, we've got to have Clarksville Academy take care of friendship. So we would play friendship here next Wednesday in the first round. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So this game really doesn't matter. It's just a momentum type game. I shouldn't say it doesn't matter. I'm a coach. You don't do say that. But as far as the standings, it won't matter. It'll. It's up to Clarksville Academy to take care of friendship, which they would be favored to do. That will throw friendship traveling down here. And as y'all all know, that is a haul up there. It takes two or three days to get up to Friendship from here, and it's a it's a it's a haul. I believe you get out first block when you <laughs> yeah, go to Friendship. First right. block, and then you're yeah, gone. it's it's a it's a long way to Wilson County. So the starting lineups down below again. This is a a game that doesn't mean anything in the standings, but of course both want to to do well. DCA being introduced down below. DCA coached by Nate Johnson, a good coach and a great guy. And DCA has recovered nicely from their horrific tornado from last year. But now the Eagles down below. Number three, 5'11 junior Donovan Smith. His brother, number four senior, the general. It was Brandon Smith, I'm sorry, six foot junior. Donovan Smith, the senior, sorry about that. Number 11, freshman Bryson Holt, six foot sophomore. And K.Y. Young, number 12, 6'4", senior. And Cam Carden, number 23, 5'10", senior, to round out the starting lineup for National Christian. Coached by John Pierce, James Morrison, Jarrett Toll, and Kareem Wright. DCA set for the tip. Their opponents, National Christian, join them before a capacity crowd. We've got a great cheering section across the way. I just spoke to Ava Pomeroy. She said, it does hurt a lot. I don't think it's, well, I don't know. Uh, she said it hurts a lot, but she was in good spirits. So we're ready for the jump ball. And if you're listening and traveling, National Christian will be moving right to left across your radio dial or your digital dial. KY to jump. Ball up, DCA controls the tip. This is... Scraggs with the ball, going against Smith. Right side on the wing, they're gonna feed the post. Power get up there, the shot is no good by Lyles. National Christian, Donovan Smith out of there, sees K while on the right wing, signals him through. We've just started action. Ball screen and a cut, lob over to K Y. two men cut through. Lots of great action in the back door, excellent false motion into Don Brandon Smith from his brother Donovan, excellent false motion by Coach Pierce's on offense. Two to nothing. We come with the full court press. We beat them 63-46 at their place a few weeks ago. DCA handles it. They get into front court. Scraggs wants to take it all the way in. Lays up nicely. No good. Tip. No good. Third try. Battle on the boards. Still on the floor. Turning, spinning, turning. The score is Sneed. Carson Sneed puts it up off the glass to tie the game. Holt outside of Carden, bounces to KY, turns one way, kicks the ball out to Holt downtown, bouncing, bouncing on top of the backboard, no good. The ball goes to DCA, big crowd looking on here. Capacity, our cheering section across the way, ready to make some action. 
DCA to walk the ball in the front court. Two to two, 6.43 to go. Smith on top of the dribble with Scraggs. Ball into the big man. He's in there a long time. Might he never three left. Seconds. <laughs> he never left. He has just now got out. He was in there one minute and three seconds, I can count. And there's some elbows, but a jump ball has called. And Lyle set up a tent and took a nap, and there was no call. I mean, it was as blatant as you could get. Two to two, 6.26 to go. The officials did a really good job in the girls' game. Ball taken all the way and scooped up. Smith misses it. Rebound to DCA. In the front court, here's Scrag. Ball to the gunner. That's Johnson. He doesn't get it. The long range gets the long rebound back. Tap back to him as they reset the court. That's Scrag. Scrag right side over here to Phelps. Phelps to Johnson out top. As they run a five, a four-man motion, posting up is Sneed. Instead, the ball on top to Scrag. Two to two, 5.50 to go, first quarter action. Little flat screen for the shooter, bouncing, getting a, a little roll there, Phelps, as it didn't hit the rim well at all, but then dropped in. Fortunately, he didn't have a lot of spin on it. Left side here to Brandon Smith, 5.35, DCA up four to two. We beat them 63-46 at their place, and you know they want a little revenge. Holt gets the ball inside, lays it up nicely left-handed to knot it at four, 5.25 of the set, uh, first quarter. Now we're picking up man-to-man -man full court. Coming back to get the ball is Phelps to set the court. He bounces over here on the right side to Snead. They swing the ball around the left side and they run a double down for a long range. Three-pointer in and out. That was a nice play set up by Coach, but nothing there. Four to four, 504 to go. Donovan trying to take the ball all the way in, trying to throw a ghost play. Picks it up and since Donovan went out of bounds, but the ball was deflected, he should have been allowed to come back in and pick it up. Isn't that right, Coach? I think John Pierce thinks so, too. <laughs> I think. It's, it's, it's pretty animated for Coach Pierce. Yeah, he, uh, I think Coach Pierce knows some of these rules. Four to four, 451 to go. Uh, big double ball screen set out top. Big man rolls down low. DCA fumbling with the ball, stolen by Smith. Smith ahead to his brother, Smith. Smith looking to KY, shovels it to him for the left-handed layup. It's good, and DCA didn't get back quite in time, and National Christian takes the lead 6-4. to 4. 4.30 to go in the first quarter. Great crowd action. We're packed here nearly to capacity. I'd say it's semi. It's about 95% capacity, 6-4, to 4. 4.24 to go. And then, of course, the rest of Bellevue listening in on this, the National Christian Broadcast Network. DCA looking for their big man inside. They got a couple of big ones. Snead posting up. The shot is no good. Here comes Brandon out of there, and he's bumped as he tried to get the ball up court. So National Christian will retain possession at 6-4. to four. They have the lead, and DCA is going to call timeout. We'll take a brief timeout with the score. National Christian 6, DCA 4. Mike McPherson with Coach Michael Peters. Coach, I was talking to DCA's coach, Nate Johnson. He informed me they've got to go to Clarksville Academy next week. So he asked that our prayers be with them on that trip. Clarksville Academy, a good pasture, look like, well, they look almost like a um, an NAA college team, a junior college team. They, In the old days, they, they look like a triple-A team. They're just incredible. Definitely. And we run the backdoor play. Uh, DCA picks it up pretty good. We kick the ball out to Donovan from the NBA range. Did that ball go in? Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd tells you it's good. Nine to four. We're back into the press, trapping here in the first quarter. Cam really on the front of that press. They just get it across the timeline. It took a great pass and a great reception by Lyles. He gets it out to the gunner Johnson. It's an air ball. The crowd lets him know that. KY with the board. We sweep it over to Brandon. He wanted to shoot from 30. Instead, hands his brother to KY on top. Left side to Holt. Holt. Back out to Brandon. Uh, Donovan Smith on the top. We're just going to call him Smith is fifth. Here's Brandon from way outside. No good. Lyles with the board. 
DCA in the front court with Phelps. Phelps instead is going to hand us Scrag, and he is going to start the offense. Right side here to Snead. They whip the ball around, get a diagonal down inside, and then double down on the uh, shooter, Johnson, who wanted it, did not get it. KY deflects it, steals it, 9-4, to 2.50 to go. The general roaring in the front court, wants to take it all the way. Steps into the lane, but gets to his brother, who forced it to Camel the baseline, no good. DCA picks up the turnover, 2.40 to go. National Christian, 9-4, to four, throwing the ball up there, no good. It's Phelps. We come out of there with it, KY with the board. Donovan takes it all the way in, avoids the charge, scoops it nicely off the board at 11 to four. If you get Donovan one-on-one, you're, you're in trouble. Might as well be me out there guarding him. <laughs> 11 to four, 217 to go. DCA being hounded here by Cam. Nashville Christian in the man-to-man. Gunning the long range shot, no good. Paul put back up there a little too hard by Snead. He had a good look. 11 to four, here we come. They can't afford to miss those shots. To Cam out top. Uh, Shot fake, try to drive, he's cut off. Brandon takes it all the way, nice bounce to KY, powers it in with the big man hanging on him, 13 to four. Coach Johnson not calling a timeout. We drop back into a man to man. We're on top, 13 to four. Sometimes we've been starting slow, we're off to a good start tonight. Ball to Johnson in the right corner, nothing there. Backs the ball back out to Lyles. The big man sweeps it to the left side. Scrag wants to drive. He's cut off by Smith pretty nicely. Donovan guarding Johnson. Ball swung all the way to the left corner. They're going to go inside to 14. Snead, he's going to kick out for the long range. Scrag in and out, no good. DCA having trouble scoring. 13 to four, here's the board down to the general. Gives to his brother, drives baseline. Kicks it out to KY, swings it quickly to Bryson. He'll take a long one, it's no good by Holt, the freshman, DCA, roaring in the front court quickly. Taking the ball in for a little European step at Scrag, good, and DCA finally breaks the drought. It's 13 to six, NCS over DCA. We're under a minute now, first quarter. Hanging jumper on the baseline, missed badly. Cam gets the board, can't get it off against the big man. Gives to KY on the cut, bangs it off the board nicely on the left side to stretch the lead back to nine, 37 seconds. Good start here by Nashville Christian, leading 15 to six, a half minute to go in the first quarter. Johnson will hand to Scrag. Let's see if they go for one here in the closing seconds. We're down to 20 seconds now. Ball moved to the right side. Long period of time without a stoppage. We got a group of subs over there that's just been waiting. Long time without a whistle. We're down to 10 seconds. DCA swinging the ball around. Phelps inside to Sneed. And it's stripped away by Brandon, picks it up. He's got five seconds, he's got four, gives to Donovan. Donovan, two seconds, he'll hang from 17. He's rejected, but he's fouled on the wrist. And DCA argues that call. Coach Nate Johnson really had a great angle and said, no, sir. (laughs) The referee said, yes, sir. So Donovan will go to the line for two. Well, that's a big, big play against DCA. And NCS's Donovan Smith, the general, will go to the line with nobody guarding him. It's 15 to six. Donovan eyes the mark. No one on the lane. Eyes it, guns it, rims it in good. 16 to six. While the players huddle around their coaches, Donovan, yes. 17 to six, the 11 point lead goes to the quarter. Coach, highlights, points. Great first quarter. Like you said, we've been starting slow some games, but not tonight. Uh, KY at three for three for six points, a couple rebounds. Donovan seven points, a rebound and assist. Uh, Brandon Smith with two points. And Cam Carden doing a little bit of everything. Two rebounds, three assists. No shot attempts yet, but he's doing good defense against uh, their double post. They, so he's outsized there, but he has been playing tough post defense for us and uh, just offense being a distributor with three assists already. So good job by Cam. Seniors are stepping up on senior night. Our first year to have Coach John Pierce bringing his daughter over here, a junior. Coach Pierce, if you haven't heard, uh, played for Lipscomb when they were NIA, and he is the all-time leading scorer at all levels uh, for college basketball. And we've talked about he never had any assists. And it, Sometimes, some people have said he's the all-time leading ball hog in the history of college ball. I do not agree with that assessment. 
I want to go on record saying that right now. Coach, little known fact, <laughs> me and John Pierce were hired the same day, and so NCS hired 4,000 college points on the same day. <laughs> Over 4,000. Yeah, between exactly. us two. Between yes. us two. <laughs> 17 to 6. DCA to inbound and bring it up. They set a double screen out top. The lower man releases. They get it to him. He takes it up, powers it up good, and checking in is Blaine Jones, and he acted like he knew exactly where to go, the double screen, and then he slips down to the hoop, and they get it into him nicely to get it to 17 to 8. Trey Michael Lewis has checked in along with Aubrey Kimbrough. We're fumbling that ball in the corner. We get it out to Trey Michael, brings it to the top of the circle. Also into the game is Braylon Toll, the junior. We're in trouble on the right wing, but Trey Michael takes it, lays it down. He's in trouble on the baseline, fumbles it, gets it to Donovan, and we need to get it out of that corner. Donovan takes it into the key, gives to Kimbrough from the corner. No good, missed badly. DCA tracks down the rebound, 7.14 to go. And the Wildcats trying to get a little momentum going. They set the same play again. We slack off of it a little bit more. Now they're going to reset. He rejects the double ball screen, tries to get the ball back into Jones. They couldn't do it. Fumbling with it to Sneed. Lots of pressure. 6.53 to go. Shearing section active in the ears of DCA. They get inside to Jones again, and Kimbrough, I thought, went right up. Straight up, rather, as Jones took the ball straight up, and the foul was called. Also having checked in is Lonnie Holland, the eighth grader. Number zero. And so Jones, good-looking athlete, is to the line. Blaine with the crowd in his ear over there. Eyes it and rips it. Seems like they want to go big against us. They've, this is twice that they've had double posts in the game. Yes, 17-9. to nine. Jones with the second toss. Eyes it. Rips both. He's got four starting the second quarter. 17 to 10, 6.44 to go. Nashville Christian. They get a, a screen here from Braylon Toll. Left side to Trey Michael, guns the long one. It was in and out. It was a good looking shot, but did not fall for him. DCA in the front court, trailing 17 to 10, trying desperately to get some momentum back. Number three, that's Curry. He comes off a screen inside, goes to the corner, looks for the lob, into Jones, turns, pivots. Is rejected by Trey Michael, and they'll call a jump. Excellent defensive work by Trey Michael, and the jump alternation possession goes to Nashville Christian. Coach, excellent job. It was great help there. 17 to 10, 6.14 to go in the second quarter before a near-capacity crowd on the campus of Nashville Christian, Bellevue, Tennessee. We're going to try to get Aubrey on the back door, and we do. We set him up, takes it up. Good, uh, no good, but he was fouled. As we set up the play nicely, they're going to call. Travel. Did he? He said he took too many steps on the gather, I guess, is what he maybe, said. Maybe he did, 17 to 10. I didn't see it. 6-0-1. We really set him up nicely there. Sprague to bring the ball in front court, guarded by Holland, the eighth grader. Jones gives him the ball screen, rolls it inside. Screen was probably a little too high to get it call into him. Now he rolls to the post, though. Loses it, Holland, strapping for it, comes out of their left-handed dribble. Here he comes past the timeline, the eighth grader down the court. Here's Trey Michael, and he's stripped away. It's saved by Toll. Toll gets it back to Donovan, hanging, 15-footer, hesitated, no good. Toll over the back, it'll go the other way. At 5.28, K.Y. Young will check back in along with Brandon Smith. Seating down will be Toll and, no, will be Trey Michael Lewis and Aubrey Kimbrough. Trey Michael had a good looking three that went in and out and then a great defensive rejection down here on this end against Jones. Trey Michael's given us some good minutes this month. He has, he's come along, he's stepped up. Yeah. This is Jones, out top to Sneed. Sneed looking, waiting, needs a cutter, finds one in Johnson. Johnson between the circles, guarded by Smith. The other Smith is picking up Scrag. Scrag looking, needs somebody to break to the ball, finally Jones does. They swing it left side of Johnson. Johnson left hands it. Scoops it back out here. They swing it around to Scrag. Fake the three. Hop back. He is also rejected by Donovan Smith, and they're going to call a foul. Good night. Our crowd doesn't normally boo. <laughs> 
Not like that. When you say all ball, that was the definition of all ball. Yeah, that's two questionable blocks. Man, Scrag he, he rips evened it. it out. He evened it out, I guess. Yes. Nate Johnson didn't like the call at the end of the first quarter. and Maybe it balanced out. 17 to 11. Scrag rips both. 17 to 12. So they've got back within five uh, to five. 4.56 to go. We're in the second quarter of a game that means nothing in the league standings. We're going to be playing against Friendship next week. We're just hoping it's here depending on the outcome of Friendship and Clarksville Academy. And Clarksville Academy would be a heavy, heavy favorite. Holland, nice little crossover, rips it from 16 feet, 19 to 12. The eighth grader hammers it home. DCA taking the ball all the way back over his head, laying it up good, and Scrag is fouled. And that was a Herculean foul, Coach Pierce. Is he upset with the official or the play? Uh, yeah, he is upset with the official. I've never seen him animated like this. Yeah, he, he grabbed the rim after the shot went up. The guy on the way down grabbed the rim. So Coach Pierce is, the basket anyways. is letting the officials know that he grabbed the rim and they had to calm him down. The shot is missed. Jones, though, goes over the back. Him and Toll fighting for it. On the baseline, he stepped out of bounds. The cheering section is <laughs> quite animated at this point. 19 to 14, DCA back in the contest. We were pulling away a little bit. And here's the lob pass out, almost stolen. Instead, Sneed gets it, struggles with it. Gets the ball in front court to Marshall. Marshall inside of Jones, stops, turns, spins. He is hacked. That was a foul there. Eli Marshall will go to the line. Now, that, uh, that was a foul. We hacked him that time. No, it's, I'm sorry, Jones will go back to the line. Cam Carden checks in for Braylon Toll. The coach is, uh, the ref okay, the referees are sending two substitutions back saying they weren't at the table in time. Does it, well, yeah, that's right. It's a two-shot foul, so they have to wait to the first. So, if you just joined us, it's getting a little wild and edgy here, 19 to 14, Jones. And he looked a little tight on that one. The crowd really in his ear over there. Checking in is Lyles. I believe that's Jaden Potts saying ball does not lie in the out of the crowd. <laughs> I think that's what I heard. Yeah, Jaden knows those scriptures. <laughs> 19 to 14, Jones. He rips that one. It's 19-15, two possession game. Brandon Smith down the right side. Cam, left side to Lonnie Holland, backs it out of there. Left side to the general. Long cross court pass to Holland. He'll gun from the corner. Nice shot, no good. Lyles with the board. DCA to clear it and walk it up. 19 to 15, 350 to go in the second quarter. Very active crowd here. Being entertained with DCA and NCS. In district act, or actually we don't have districts anymore, the region action. Ball whip round to Johnson to give to Jones. Pivots turns the other way. He got fouled that time. They didn't call it. Jones powers it in. They're down to within two. Excuse me, two now. Lob back out to Cam Carden. We're in for a game tonight, ladies and gentlemen. 19 to 17. KY gives Donovan the screen. Powers his way into the lane. Instead of Holland, left side. Did he make it? That ball bounced, bounced, no good. KY with the board, takes it back in, is hammered as he takes it up. And we'll go to the line for two. Donovan Smith really encouraging his teammates there, giving KY the five, 19 to 17. Young will go to the line here on senior night, the last home game, regular season, but hopefully we're gonna be back here next Wednesday, and we're hoping we'll bring you the broadcast at six o'clock. That is unofficial at this time. Has to be cleared by ESPN <laughs> to see if they will book this contest over a few SEC games. 19 to 17, 309, KY, yes. 20 to, well, they put the wrong score up. I don't know what the score is. Is it 20 to 17, is that correct? Yes, sir. We're approaching the three minute mark and we have, uh, we're in that one, two, two trap. Is that right, coach? I believe so. Looks like a one, two, two. DCA moving the ball around. Jones is trapped over here on the wing. Long cross court pass to Johnson for three. 
No good. The crowd really hollering right on top of them. The ball knocked out by Jones. It will go oh, foul. Oh, the OKF. Was it a foul on Jones? Yes. Shoving from behind. 20 to 17. Nashville Christian to bring the ball up. Donovan Smith, the general, facing a man to man. They run through some cutters. Bounce to KY at the elbow. Beautiful backdoor layup to Brandon Smith, and he left handed back over his head. Perfect setup and timing by Nashville Christian to increase the lead to five. 2.30 to go. DCA losing the ball to the baseline. Jones picks it up. Power dribble out from underneath the board. No good. He keeps it alive. Deflects it out here to, Jones, uh, to Lyles. Ball back to Johnson. Facing the 1-2-2 two, two trap. Five-point lead into Jones. He elbows Carden in the head. Knocks him down, and they call the block. That was a WWF elbow to the head. Cam got him in the eye. 22-17. And then they called the block on Cam, saying he did not give him enough room to come down. And that may have been true. I know he got elbowed in the head, so could have been a good call. Y'all can wind it back. We don't have the privilege of replay here. Caught on the floor, too, so that's good for us. But 22-17, DCA. They stack it. And the ball is deflected out by Trey Michael in the corner on the inbounds play. And our court's really small, so everything's really jammed up here. We've got cheerleaders almost out on the court. It's just a crowded, it's a neat environment, but it is crowded downtown. Phelps in and out, no good. Donovan with the board, going past the timeline. Struggles, backs it out of there, left hands over his brother. One of the shot, now inside KY as he shuffles it to him. Drew the help, and KY wide open for the left side shot. And we go up 24 to 17 with 150 left in the second quarter. Over here to Scrag. he's gonna gun from three. No good, it was a good looking shot, didn't go. KY hands to Smith. Brandon gets to Donovan from the collegiate line. Did it go in? It was a good look, but not there. 24 to 17, action picking up both ways, but no baskets. 135 to go. We're back in the one, two, two. Crowd over on the side, cheerleaders on the baseline. A lot of action, a lot of activity. DCA cheerleaders look quite bored right now. Trey Michael with the deflection, but he got the hammer there and committed the foul. 24 to 17. One and one. 121 to go, and DCA will go to the line for a one and one. Very interesting game here. You wouldn't think that <laughs> from the way these kids are playing that this game didn't mean anything in the standings. They're playing like it's for first place, and that's the way you want it to be. Strag, good. 24-18. Because both teams know you need some momentum going in. And we've got that fourth and fifth place game next week, which is usually one of the most balanced games, and it probably will be. Second one, no good. Lewis with the rebound. Smith on the right side. Looks at his brother, bounces him on the right side, hands back to Donovan. Donovan to Brandon from the collegiate three, in and out. We've had some nice ones that wouldn't go. Both teams have. 24 to 18, approaching the one minute mark of the second canto. DCA coming down the court in Bellevue, Tennessee. In a region game that doesn't mean anything in the standings, but both teams want to play for momentum. DCA trying to power that ball in, turning, spinning, hooking nicely as Phelps, and he gets it down to four points. We've gone under a minute, and now we're down to 40 seconds, and National Christian will walk it up for the final shot. 35 seconds, Donovan will stand between the circles and dribble some time. Johnson tries to get the five second call on him so he has to lay it down. 25 seconds to go right now, 24 to 20. Donovan breaks the five second count, asks for his brother to come and get it, but they shield him from it. Donovan breaks the count again. At 15 seconds, he looks at Coach Pierce. They set the play at 12 seconds. Got one for a cross. Now we've got a ball screen for Donovan, a flare back to his brother. Brandon from NBA. It was a good look, no good. The ball, Lyles, gives to number 14. Sneed from midcourt, it would not go. And the teams go to the locker room in a tight one. Low scoring, not a lot of points, but a lot of action, Coach Peters. Yes, sir, 24 to 20. We only had seven point quarter, they had 14. They shot nine free throws in the second quarter. <laughs> kind of helped them out a little bit. Yes. I don't even know if we had nine shot attempts in the second quarter, barely. 
We had not, 10. We had 10 shot attempts, and they had nine free throws. Well, we'll take a little break here, and um, the crowd sitting down to get a little, uh, little respite here. And we'll take a timeout also and come back in about eight minutes. Your halftime score, National Christian 24, Donaldson Christian 20. We'll be back in about eight minutes on this, the Nashville Christian Broadcast Network.
This is Coach Mike McPherson with Coach Michael Peters bringing you the live stream action of the last regular season game here in Bellevue, Tennessee with National Christian hosting DCA leading the Wildcats. The Eagles leading the Wildcats 24 to 20. Coach, time for a couple of stats. All right, Lonnie Holland with two, Brandon Smith with four, Donovan Smith with seven, Bryson Hope with two, KY leading us with nine. Uh, pretty spread out. And then for DCA, uh, Phelps with four, Sneed with two, uh, Jones with 11, and seven with the Scrug. Scrag, I believe. Scrag, sorry, it might, Scrag. I believe it's Scrag, I think. I think you're right. That DCA was... on the back door. Donovan picks it off as we begin the second half. He's one-on-one. -on -one and, oh, he should have. I've never seen him pass up that shot, but his brother won't from downtown. No good. Donovan gets the long board. Shoot it. That's your shot, Donovan. Right side, Holt, back to Donovan Smith on top to set the court. Three along the baseline, now Cam comes out to the right wing. Brandon receives the pass on the left, looks for the cutter. KY comes out to get it as we cut men through. Holt swings the ball around here to Smith, hands back to Smith. Smith on top, right side to Cam as they run a little motion out top. Donovan to the 17-foot mark. KY as we're very patient on offense now. KY bumped and draws the foul. Lyles questioned why. Well, he bumped him pretty hard. We get the ball under the basket. Good call by the official. The bump occurred below the free throw line. And here's a screen the screener action. Brandon rejected by Johnson. Put the ball back to Nashville Christian. NCS leads 24 to 20, seven minutes here. Left in the third quarter. Inbounds play to Donovan in the corner. They're guarding him tightly. Stops, fadeaway 15-footer, bouncing no good. Lyles with a big board, clears over here to Scrag. Scrag past the timeline. Kicks the ball in the corner to Phelps. Phelps takes it all the way in, hooks it back over his head. Back of the rim, no good. And Donovan Smith comes out of there with the ball. He's being chased, left hands it, swings it quickly over to Holt from downtown in front of the cheering section. 27 to 20. We pick up full court man to man. Johnson to battle against Donovan Smith. 27 to 20, 624 to go. A little tougher than at their place. We won 63-46. Hop skipping a jump by Johnson. No good. Tip no good. Ball still battling around. Here's Donovan ahead to Holt. Stops. Powers lays it up. Good. We stretch to 29 to 20. Nashville Christian got it out of there quickly. Approaching six minutes of the third quarter in a hot gym on a cold night. February the third. DCA, ball screen. Phelps bouncing into the big man. Sneed wants it, kicks it back out. And Phelps guns it from three and scores 29 to 23. 5.43 to go and they immediately cut it back to a two possession game. Young screens for Smith. Hooks it back over to KY, one of the three thought better of it. Carden left side to Brandon, takes it into the lane, hooks it inside to KY, it's deflected out of bounds. 29 to 23, we inbounds under the basket, set in a box, and we screen Donovan coming in. Left hands it over to his brother, yes. Hits it from in front of our cheering section again, it's 32 to 23. Donovan Smith, three assists on three baskets to start the quarter. Scrag battling against Brandon Smith, picked up by KY. Now they're going to double team, and the ball goes into the corner for a long range. Phelps, yes. 32 to 26, right back to six points. Brandon deflected, and it's going to be picked up. There's a scramble at midcourt. Ball rolling three. Brand, uh, Donovan comes out of the width, and he's going to be fouled. Coach Pierce, did they give Coach Pierce the timeout? I think it was a uh, referee didn't mean to blow his whistle. He was going to call a jump ball, and it was. And we get the possession. Yeah, but. 32 to 26. Referee said, my bad. Okay. KY receives the inbounding pass. 454 to go. Donovan, uh, Brandon downtown, rims out no good. The great Fe screen by Cam right there. Phelps with the board. Shot. Working against Holt one-on-one. -on -one. 32 to 26 at Nashville Christian. And they're leading over DCA, 32 to 26. Right side, the big man Lyles comes out to get it, sets a ball screen in the corner for Scrag. 
Struggles, swings the ball all the way in the corner. Goes to Johnson, from the lefty from downtown. In and out, good looking shot. And we have Sneed knocking us out of, the, uh, out of bounds, but no call. 32 to 26, the possession back to NCS. DCA to pick up man to man. 32 to 26, 420 to go in the third quarter. KY comes out. We set a double flat screen. Brandon all the way in the corner to Holt. Dribbles it, fires it, no good. Almost had too long. Donovan hanging four footer, good on the rebound. 34 to 26, stretches it back to eight. Halfway through the third quarter. Johnson takes it all the way in, hands to Phelps. Phelps takes it to the elbow, hanging shot, no good. Good looking shot. Brandon Smith gets the boards. Hands to his brother Donovan right back to Brandon. Gets a flare screen, takes it to the key. Now all the way under, steps through, lays it up. Did that basket count? It counted good. Oh, well, he caught on the floor. No, on the floor. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Probably the right call. 34 to 20. I thought he was signaling good, well, but he was too. saying on the floor. Donovan Smith to inbounds, laughing with the official. 34 to 26. A little screen to screener action. They pick it up and deflect it. Brandon traces the ball down onto the right side, top of the circle to Cam, who passes, gets it right back from Holt, and then he loses it. DC on the steal, Sneed to Phelps. Phelps powers it past the timeline, goes to the right, and they swing it back to Johnson from three, bouncing no good. Carden with the board, 34 to 26. Phelps almost stole it. We went to sleep there for a moment, and at 319, we get subs into the contest. Toll checking in. along with Lonnie Holland. Donovan, another double flat screen out top, takes it down the lane, shovels it to Lonnie in the corner from downtown. In and out, looks good. And Toll is gonna foul Jones on the rebound. That'll be our first of the half. DCA is two, 3.07 to go, 34 to 26. So Marshall back into the contest, hasn't been in a while. Has he been in at all? I don't guess. And Johnson will bring the ball past the timeline. 3-0, two to go. DCA, deep ball screen for Phelps. Jones was uh, posting up inside as he's back into the contest. Takes it, turns, spins, lays it up. Good off the board. Why didn't he start the half or the game? 34 to 28, 245 of the third quarter. And we're in a, we're in a battle here, Toll. Right side, KY, top of the circle, back to Donovan Smith. Gives to Holland, takes it down the lane, hanging floater. It's not gonna count, he made it, but the foul is called on the charge. And the DCA faithful, appreciate that defensive effort. And it was a good call, 34 to 28. Possession, back to DCA, the nice floater is wiped off. And so it's a six point game. 2.30 to go in the third quarter. Looks like we're going down to the wire. Scrag past the timeline, battling. He's bumped, but spins right into the lane. They're going to call a very late foul on Brandon Smith, and it's two shots. Pierce once again animated, and I've never seen John Pierce with this type of language, frankly, Coach. <laughs> it's really gotten out of hand. So, Scrag, yes, 34 to 29. Coach Pierce has really been talking to the officials unlike I've ever seen him. He might say something once a game, but he's questioned several calls, so the officials have had a tough time tonight on some of these calls. And Scrag gets them back to 34 to 30. We're down under 220. The general brings it up against that double ball screen. They're really hounding him out front, tries to get in the lane, gets it to Holland, may have walked with it downtown, no good. Scrag gets it on the board. So we're a little off on our three-point shots. We've had several good looks, wouldn't go. DCA, ball screen on the right side. Phelps swings the ball all the way this way, then gets it back. They bounce into Lonnie, but he's going to be, I mean Jones, but Jones is going to be fouled, I think, by our Lonnie Holland. Yeah, that's a tough cover Yeah, Lonnie in the post. Got an eighth grader on a... Uh, Veteran player there, 34 to 30, 151 to go. DCA, little action there, and Donovan steals it on the baseline nicely. 
coming past the timeline, 301. Gives it off to his brother, lays it up. No good, it wouldn't go. Toll with a beautiful chance at the tip. It didn't quite go. DCA the other way, and KY got away with a lot of contact. Toll with the board, 34 to 30. Here comes Donovan, past the timeline. Stutter steps Will, Stearns, and is fouled. And we'll go to the line. And he's hit hard that time by Sneed. And the crowd shows its appreciation, and we go to the line, 34 to 30. Coach Nate Johnson talking to the official, trying to calm things down on his end. Donovan Smith to the line, 34 to 30. And CS up, shot, rolls, bounces, good after thinking about it. Johnson to check in for Marshall, DCA. Across town from Donaldson, Tennessee, and the Bellevue. Well, nice Friday night basketball game. This one rims out. DCA secures the board, leading or trailing National Christian 35 to 30. Long, not a smart pass, deflected by Donovan. Give to Lonnie Holland. To Donovan from the collegiate three. It's short. We're off on our threes. 35 to 30. We're trapping in backcourt. Now we back out of it, 35 to 30, approaching one minute of the third quarter. DCA down five, needing a basket here toward the end of the half. They lob it to Lonnie, I mean to Jones, and that's Blaine Jones. I'm sorry, I keep calling him Lonnie. Of course, I know a youth minister named Lonnie Jones. That's why I keep saying that. Yeah. 35 to 30, one minute left, third quarter. Donovan Smith. Takes it all the way and lays it up nicely. Left hand going down the lane with a little ankle breaker there. And gets it back to 37-30. Big change of possession on DC's wild pass that led to a turnover. 40 seconds left. They set a big double screen and roll man low to post. And missed the shot on the baseline. And coming back in to get the, scrag, to get the rebound. Scrag was out of bounds and touched it before someone else did. So Nashville Christian ahead seven will have a chance to hold it for one shot with a half minute left in the third quarter. Again, as we've said, this game does not mean anything in standings. We're gonna be playing Friendship Christian and hopefully it'll be in this gym next Wednesday and we do hope to bring the broadcast. Donovan at 18 seconds breaks the count. 15 seconds, sets it back up. We're down to 13 seconds. Let's see what we do. Brandon comes over, he's gonna ball screen him. Donovan takes it back to the top of the circle, looks for a cutter, he forced that in. Four seconds left, DCA stolen it, two seconds. Phelps is just gonna hold it. And the, the horn ends the third quarter. And the third quarter with Nashville Christian seizing most of the momentum, 37 to 30. Coach, a couple of highlights. DCA scored 10 in the quarter, we scored 10 also, uh, Donovan Smith, solid quarter, five points, three assists. Uh, Brandon Smith had three, uh, and Bryson Holt had five. Good points from Bryson Holt that quarter. We like that. Very active crowd across the way. And so uh, we're hoping that Clarksville Academy does what they're supposed to do to, to friendship and that we come across, oh, they come across the state to play us next week, and hopefully we'll be on with the broadcast at 6 o'clock. That has not been totally confirmed yet. We're hoping that. 37 to 30, six seconds left. Excuse me, six more seconds left in the timeout. 37 to 30, Nashville Christian will inbounds the ball. It's theirs. And we return Young, Smith, Smith, Toll, and Holland, the eighth grader. Brandon, they're doing the back door. Boy, they played it, and it actually went off the back of Johnson, who played the back door nicely. We set it up, we usually get that, but DCA read it nicely, and they needed to. They need a basket to get this thing back down to a two possession game. So Johnson sets the court. Right side, Jones has done a good job posting up tonight. Left side to Phelps, looking for Jones inside. They've got two big guys in there also with Lyles, so they got a double low post, guy on the baseline, and now they kind of flatten out. Now Jones comes back out to get it. 
Swings the ball to Phelps. Gives him a ball screen. Boy, they had him on the roll. He was wide open. Why you don't look for that when that's the purpose of the ball screen? Now they're a little too clogged up, <clears throat> trying to get to Jones. Instead, whirling, spinning, scoring is Scrag on a great spin move when DCA really had the, the right side of the lane clogged up with a high post and a low post. But Scrag just decided to go one-on-one -on -one and spun 360 and cuts it to five at 7-12 of the fourth. He eyes it, makes it, and it does go down to a two-possession game. So a big turnaround of possessions there. And here's Donovan taking it down the lane. Back to Lonnie, downtown from outside. Bounds it, no good. Brandon is fouled on the board by Jones. So Lonnie had a good look. The eighth grader a little long on the shot. We set a set play for him. Donovan will bring it in, and he'll usually come back and get the ball on this play. We throw it out deep to KY. And Brandon gets it back from the collegiate three line. Yes. Bottom. 40 to 33. Big shot at the 645 mark as DCA needs to counter badly. They're down seven. They can ill afford to go down too much lower. And Coach Johnson wants a timeout. We'll take a brief timeout with the score. National Christian leading in Bellevue 40 to 33 over the DC Wildcats on this, the National Christian Broadcast Network. Ready to resume action in Bellevue, Tennessee with NCS leading DCA 40 to 33. We'll be back here hopefully next Wednesday for first round action. It's hopefully the fourth place National Christian Eagles will be playing Friendship Commanders 40 to 33 in a rematch of the state football championship. DCA almost throwing it away. Johnson saving the long pass to Phelps as we've gone to a trap action. And it is bothering D.C. a little bit, but we let him out of there. He floats in. I tell you, Cam was set and then turned and twisted out of it. I think he would have had the, the charge had he maintained his feet and then felt back. But he twisted and turned and got the block. And the basket made by Scrag. And it's back to five and a chance to cut it once again to four. And he rims it no good. Brandon with the rebound, 6.15 to go till the game, 40 to 35. National Christian has told, come out and get it. Gives to Cam, posting Donovan, power, puts it up, no good. Johnson claims he went straight up. They did a great job of getting Donovan sealed inside. A great job, and he power dribbled and took it up and drew the foul. Smith at the line, 40 to 35. Two possession game, he can make it three. At 6.05, Isaac guns it, makes it. 41 to 35. Donovan Smith, senior, playing his last regular season game along with his other seniors. Donovan Smith, eyes it, cocks it, locks it, drops it. 42-35, 6.05 to go. DCA has to counter right here. They can ill afford to get this thing into a four possession ball game. We've just Entered under six minutes. Phelps gets it in the corner, gets to Jones, who powers the ball in. Uh, couldn't get it, they, so he kicked out to Johnson. Now they get right back to Lyles. He is going to lose the ball in the turnover. Here's Holland. Left hands it over to Brandon from downtown. No good. Phelps with a long board, 42 to 35, 5.37 to go. Holland guarding Phelps. He spins into the lane. Nothing there. He's got to get rid of it to Johnson. Swings it over here to Scrag, Scrag looking for a cutter. Jones posting up, it's pretty clogged in there. 
He tries to wheel back inside, nothing there. They swing the ball around to the big man. He's gonna gun from three in the corner, no good. Lyles looked like he wanted the shot and felt confident, missed it. We lead by seven with the ball. Five minutes, Donovan Smith hanging 17 footer. Bottom. Donovan, one on one. Tough guy to guard, 44-35, five minutes up nine. DCA is in trouble. Still a long way to go. Scrag gets the nice screen, takes it all the way in. It's going to be bumped by Cam Carden, stopping the, the clock at 4.52. KY Young set to check in, along with DCA Sneed to the line. Scrag down nine. He makes it eight with the string tickling the twine. Go ahead, Coach. Free throws 10 and 11 on the night for him. He is taking the ball to the basket. He has. Some fouls. Got double digits at the line. He's got his team back to eight. And this one rolls in good. It's seven. 4.52 to go. Donovan to walk it up. He's had a great career, and hopefully we have a few more games left for these seniors. Donovan kicks it out to Cam from downtown. Did he make it? He bounds it off the rim. No good. Here comes Phelps. DCA needed to stop there, down seven. Ball screen out top, the roll, it wasn't there. Jones swings it back over to Johnson, downtown. No good, it was a good look. Here comes Brandon, he's one on three. Takes it all the way and lays it up left, headed from the right side, and rolls it off the board nicely to take it to nine. DCA quickly in front court. Kind of an emergency situation, and he double dribbled, trying to get in there too tight. Coach. Johnson questioning the call. And not sure what Johnson, they said he double dribbled. 46 to 37. Nashville Christian set to run their play. Here's Donovan into the lane. Back out to Brandon from collegiate three. Yes, that could be the nail. That takes us to 12, 49 to 37, under four minutes left. Perfect executed three-point play for Brandon Smith from the collegiate three-point line. Scrag battling in there, gives to Johnson. We're really playing some tight, looks like a 2-3 zone right now. And they finally come free, and this is Phelps gunning the three and cutting it back to nine. Coach Nate Johnson calls timeout. We'll take a brief timeout with the score. Nashville Christian leading on the campus in Bellevue, 49-40 over the DCA Wildcats back in a moment. Nashville Christian with a nine point lead and possession over the Donaldson Christian Academy Wildcats whose school has recovered from a horrific tornado a couple of years ago and they've just got a great campus. Donovan Smith going one on one into the lane. He's double teamed, he's in trouble. Gets it out to Holland downtown. No, oh, that's Bryson Holt, I'm sorry. KY with the board, gives it back to Holt. Holt kicks it back out to Donovan. They set the court, 49 to 40, approaching three minutes. Donovan kicks it to Cam in the corner. We may milk a little clock. A little five-man pass and cut action. KY spinning into the lane. Not there, Brandon takes it all the way in, lays it up. Injury on Phelps. Nice play as KY couldn't score, but immediately ditched to a cutting Brandon Smith who went in and Phelps is got a knee that looks like it's wrenched. He went down is in pain in an 11 point game. Trainer Kim is out there to attend to him. And that uh, hopefully he'll be okay. 51 to 40. And so we're gonna have to take a timeout. Uh, well, they're gonna help him up. So uh, we may get right back to the action. We're gonna take him over to our trainer's bench and he is being helped off by Coach Johnson, Coach Sig. And they'll prepare the table for him. See if they can assist him. So 51 to 40. 
Three minutes exactly. And 11 point game. And this is a big possession for DCA. They can, uh, they don't have much time. It's ticking down on them. 51 to 40. 17 fouls on Nashville Christian, five on DCA. So DCA will go to the one and one. Gunning, new man in the game. Good. That's Curry. Came off the bench and nails it to cut it to eight. Not over. 2.40 to go. Donovan walks it into front court. We've got a five out spread. And Cam Carden gets it between the circles. He's going to lay it down. Did he get fouled? He did. Curry, who just nailed the three off the bench. Where has he been, Coach? you got to guard Curry at the three-point line. That's, that's yeah. what I hear. <laughs> yeah, that's the scouting report. <laughs> and why the Curry wasn't in earlier, I don't know. He threw that up with total confidence. Rips it, cutting it to eight. The general receives it in backcourt. We're under two and a half to go in the game. Donovan, counted by Johnson. Left hands it over to Cam on the left wing. Top of the circles. To Smith, back to KY. Holt, back to the left side to Brandon again. Backs out of there with it. Good defense by DCA right now. Donovan down the key, they double team him. He's in trouble, needs a cutter, finds one. And his brother takes it baseline, comes back out from under the rim, no good. Puts it back up, lays it up, no good. KY battling, but here comes Scrag. It's an eight point game, under two minutes to go. DCA has to hit here, it could be over if they don't. Looking for Johnson. Back to Scrag. Better find Curry. Penetrate, takes it all the way in left hand, lays it up, no good, tip, no good. Big one miss. That uh, It's gonna be tough now. Johnson hounding Smith in backcourt. 135 to go in an eight point game. Brandon to try to milk some clock. We hit KY on the cut, stops, lays it up. Good, that's the nail. 53-43, 125 to go. So Nashville Christian's gonna take care of business here, it looks like, barring a miracle comeback. 10 point lead. And here is a great drive by Johnson and a timeout, no timeout. DCA's picking up full court. It is eight, it's not over yet. Long one to Holt. Holt, beautiful pass to KY, fakes and he's held on the floor. And we'll go to the line for two. Nice pass by Holt. We beat the press, KY came open and Holt the ninth grader found him nicely, the senior KY Young to the line. 53 to 45. Two shots here. Made, may end it. And the first one bouncing good. That makes it a three possession game. This would make it a four possession. Approaching a minute left in the final class, uh, final period. And Johnson, his team down 10 over to Scrag. Scrag. It's a ball screen. Donovan all over him, hounding him, nothing there. Curry's got it again, but we get out on him that time. Little three-man action, Curry. They swing it around to Johnson, will stay at baseline, inside of the big man, lays it up, good. Did they call a timeout? No. Nice shot by Snead. It's, it is back down to eight, 45 seconds. We'll have to hit our free throws, and they're gonna come out and foul Cam, and he'll go to the line for a one and one. Exactly 40 seconds left. We're now in a foul marathon for DCA. They got to stop the clock. And Cam can push this lead back to four. Gonna be tough with 40 seconds. A miss here, slightly leaves the door open. And he gets the shooter's roll. It tumbles in. It's a nine point game. This will make it a four possession and he does. Nice. String music there by Cam Carden, 57 to 47. DC in a hurry, down to 35 seconds. Johnson takes it in, lays it in nicely and calls timeout. And they cut it to eight, still 32.9 to go. It's not over yet, 57 to 49, 32.9 to go. So if you joined us late, the setting here at Nashville Christian this game means nothing in the stands. It's a momentum game for both teams. Looks like we're gonna take that momentum to the tournaments next week. Right now, Clarksville Academy hopefully is handling friendship, which pushes friendship to come to our place next Wednesday for the first round of the region. What used to be called a district is now a region. 57 to 49, our score here. The contest here on the scoreboard will not affect the standings. It's whether 
Carsville Academy takes care of business against Friendship. So we have no idea what that score is up there, do we, Coach? I know. I'm looking for it right now. Can't find an update. 32.9 seconds left. And if Friendship does lose, they will be coming here for sure, regardless of the end of this game. And we inbound to Donovan. He's going to be fouled immediately. Clock stopped at 30.9. So in an eight-point game, we can keep it at a four possession as long as we keep hitting both free throws. Been a nice active crowd before a near capacity audience here as Donovan pushes it back to nine, 58-49. Half a minute left. Uh, having a final score in the Clarksville Academy friendship game. And that score is? Clarksville Academy 70, friendship 40. Which is what most people were expecting. So we will be playing here next Wednesday, and hopefully we will have that broadcast. And we'll be letting you know on that next week, 59 to 49. So it looks like National Christian is going to take this one, even though we give a wide open layup, no defense at all. And Donovan once again is fouled, and we're immediately getting to him, and DCA has no choice, Coach. They have to foul him, and that's not who you want to send to the line. Definitely not. Four for four already this quarter. Looking to add to it from the free throw line. 59 to 51, 18.8 seconds to go. DCA, they're going to have to play Clarksville Academy first round. Yes, sir. At Clarksville. At Clarksville. So, tough, tough place to go. Donovan. Yes. 60-51. Our girls won the first game of the doubleheader. They have secured first place, and we'll have a bye, and we'll play next Friday night. Is that right, Coach? Friday afternoon, 4 o'clock. And that will be at DCA, right? Yes, DCA. 60 to 51, 15 seconds left. DCA struggling to get it past the timeline here in the closing 10 seconds. Long shot is no good. And DCA trying to get a last buzzer shot off, and it's bouncing no good. Tip no good. Tip again. No good is the buzzer sound. So National Christian closes out the regular season with a nice win over DCA, 61 to 51. Coach, quick totals for National Christian. Uh, Lonnie with two, Brandon Smith 17, uh, 20 for uh, Donovan Smith, seven for Bryson Holt, 13 for KY, and two for Cam Card. Well, as the crowd mills around, Players shake hands. We're going to sign off. Hopefully we'll be back next Wednesday night for the boys' action against Friendship right here in Nashville Christian Arena. So, for producer Andrew Atkins, who's brought these games, this may be our last game. Hopefully we'll bring next year to you or next week to you. But if not, we'll see you next fall in football. But hope to see you next week. For Andrew Atkins, Coach Michael Peters, this is Mike McPherson saying thank you for your time at this time. Until next time on this, the Nashville Christian Broadcast Network.